Good morning guys, this is Jonathan of Bob CNC. Welcome to Getting Started. Today we're going to be going over some of the functions and the orientation in Basic Cam. So to start off, we have our grid here. This is going to be the canvas, which we lay out all our designs, and then we set them to a point that we can then uh, orient the zero point on our machine to so that when we go to carve it out, it knows exactly where it's at. So to start off with, let's say we're standing in front of our machine, and you can see the evolution lasered onto the front. So the, the X sides, the two X rails that would be on the side, would be right here and right here. Our gantry would be this big part right here that would then be, be moving across this way. And you have your router right here. It would be attached to your Y carriage, and it would slide back and forth along this. And then, of course, you'd have your, your Z there that would plunge the router up and down, but that's kind of hard to illustrate here. So from here, then, we have several things we could do. We'll be talking in later videos on some different functions, but one thing you can do is you have our file function. You can then open up a DXF, SVG, or image file, something like that, and bring it in and do um, different stuff with it out of it, like a different program. Um, you have your, your new work, create a new workspace. You can open up another workspace. So if you have a design that you had saved, then you can open that back up. Um, you have your save. But this is really cool. You also have an import from parts library. One cool thing that we uh, that comes with open builds and that we're hoping to expand on is these pre-made DXF files or SVG files that then you can take the de designs and just open them up and then carve them. So you have different different types. You have your animals, engineering, whatever, um, different kinds of signs. So you should you can you can go in there and you can grab these and then just import them instead of having to come up and design your own. So I'm just gonna I'll just grab this one and it is gonna open it up like that. Okay. So we have our little our little file here. Now you have your different functions over here. Now you have your your select function. You can either select the DXFs like this or you can go over here and you can select them over here. You have your move function, so you can grab it and you can take that and just put it wherever you want it. You have your erase function and that'll just get rid of it. And you have your move, scale, and rotate function. So if I grab this, let me see if I can grab that, okay. So you have your scale. Now let's say I want it to be bigger. Then I can say, okay, I want it to be 120. It's going to scale both of these at the same way. So if you say height-wise, it's going to scale this. If you say width, it's going to scale that. And then hit apply. And then it is going to change the, excuse me, it's going to change the size of it. Next, we have our position. So let's say we want it to be positioned in a certain spot. Then we can say, okay, I want you to be centered on 100, and I want you to be centered on 90, and then hit apply, and it is going to move that file to where it is centered on those two positions. Now the last thing we can do is we can grab it, and you have your rotation. And this you can then take and say, okay, I want you to rotate 20 degrees this way, I want you to go counterclockwise, and then it will rotate that in the direction that you specified. Okay. So now from there, I'll cover a couple of things. You've got your job and your grid view. Now what these will allow you to do is if you click on those, it takes you to um, the visualizer to a certain spot. So let's say I grab this and I move it way over here. Now I'm off in the white zone and I have no idea where I'm at. Then I can come over here and I can either click the job function or the grid function. The job function is going to take me right back to what this is right here. But if I do the grid function, it's just going to take me back to this overall grid and, and uh, it'll be a, a wider view. Um, what else? Okay, so we have different selectors over here. You can select none, you can select all. You can invert, so any that you have selected will be unselected, and any that you don't have will be then selected. Um, you have your project, documents, toolpaths, and G-code options. This is basically just showing um, which ones you want to be visible. So you can select that, change the project, you can hide documents, 
Um, if when we create our toolpaths later on, you can either hide the toolpaths or the G-code. So that is pretty much it. Um, we'll be going over the different um, things that you can make in here instead of just importing a document in other videos. But until then, I will see you guys later.